Hi there. Today I'm going to demonstrate the Shipgear shipping solution, which is a middleware that works between carrier supplied systems and accounting and ERP packages. Um, today we're going to be showing QuickBooks Online and UPS WorldShip. Before we start shipping, I wanted to bring up the invoice that we're going to ship against. So let's take a look at it. I just want to point out some details so that you can see how fields are mapped and translated and some of the power behind the mapping um, that you can do on your own um, out of the, uh, that are not part of um, the standard default translations. So you'll notice the ship via code here. I have my ship via code being mapped to carrier, to the service, as well as to the billing type. And then in this case, um, my customer Duke's Basketball Camp has also asked me to um, bill their account um, so I'm going to bill recipient on their account, and I have a couple of products here. So let's save this guy and go into WorldShip and process this invoice. So in WorldShip, um, when you first install ShipGear, it'll come with a default set of field maps and translations, and you'll be able to access the WorldShip or the ShipGear import key by just clicking on that import key function here. If I hit a question mark, Shipgear will allow you to browse all your open invoices in QBO. And also allow you to filter if you wanted to filter these invoices out for any reason. Or you could just take a look at all the ones that you have available. So here's that invoice number 1046. Let's take a look at it and bring it into WorldShip. So when you select it, Shipgear is going to go out to um, the QuickBooks data and pull in the fields. And not only does it populate fields on the WorldShip screen, but it's also going to translate fields. So you'll notice here that my service was translated to ground, and my bill transportation was set to receiver with the UPS account number coming in from that um, custom field in QuickBooks. Also, um, reference numbers, you have control over the reference numbers that come over, and you have access to um, all the reference numbers available inside of WorldShip. So you can simply map these over to WorldShip through the ShipGear application. And I have my <clears throat> document number, PO number, and customer name here. Other options that you can set up, um, the Quantum View Notify. So in this instance, I'm actually going to be using Shipgear's email notification to send the shipment notification to my customer. But I also want to um, use the UPS service for the exception so that if a shipment for some reason is going to be delayed, it'll send an email to my sales team so that we can be proactive about the customer service. And then also the declared value is coming over from the order total. Again, an optional mapping, but one that can help you with your insurance if you always want to insure. So let's add a couple packages here. And the rest of this process is um, you know, similar to what you would typically doing, be doing in WorldShip to process your shipments. So I have three packages, and I'm just going to process this guy. WorldShip is going to print the label, and then Shipgear is going to update QuickBooks in real time with all the shipment detail. So let's go back into um, QuickBooks and take a look at that. So here's my invoice number 1046. Now you'll notice that the ship via has been updated. The tracking number has been updated. The shipping date. My freight charges. Now you'll notice here that I have $5 going back, but it was bill recipient. And that's because I also set ship gear up. I use ship gear freight rules to define a handling fee, even if it's bill recipient. So I still want to charge a little handling fee for this shipment. And then in the statement memo, you'll see all the details about the shipment. So this information here is completely customizable. So you can define 
what actually gets updated in the statement memo. This can also be updated in the um, this area where the message is displayed on the invoice if you'd like it to. So you have some options on where the information gets updated. Okay, before we finish, I wanted to also show you some of the other utilities that you get with Shipgear. Um, we talked earlier about the email notification. And this is my email viewer. And you'll see this is the email that was generated as a result of that shipment. So here are my um, three packages. I have this branded with my logo. I've added a link back to my store. And I've also added a promotion here to help drive repeat traffic. These emails um, can be sent in real time as you ship to also help reduce the number of inbound calls that your customer service team is receiving. The other nice thing with the email notification is that you can include your QuickBooks fields, like an invoice number or the PO number. And it can be the outbound shipment notification, again, can be used um, simultaneously with the other UPS Quantum View emails, such as the exception that I showed you earlier. The dashboard. So this is another utility that's going to allow your entire office access to the ShipGear database. So one thing that ShipGear will do is it will store all of the shipment detail in its own database, which allows you to then access it um, throughout the company without needing to be in WorldShip. It also gives you some nice metrics and the ability to quickly find shipments. So if my customer calls and says, hey, can you tell me what's going on with my PO number Duke something or other, we can take a look at this shipment and we can search by PO number and quickly find the shipment. So we don't need to know the tracking number for the shipment to figure out which shipment it is. We also do not need to be in WorldShip to find that out. From here, I can look at all my information. I can see what's going on with this as far as where it is. I can um, look at the tracking information. I can look at the email that was generated, as well as all the packages, the charges. And in this case, it was bill recipient, so the charges were zero there. My freight rules. So um, if the customer service person is looking at that invoice and thinking, hey, it was bill recipient and there's still $5, they'll be able to see that this freight rule was used. And that's why the $5 is showing up there. And then you'll also see any shipment options. So here I have my quantum view notification for that exception email. Um, for the charts, you'll be able to um, see shipment volume across the carriers that you're using. So in this case, I'm using UPS. I can look at um, any period from here quickly to view my outbound shipments. I might also want to look by service, and I might want to drill in to see which shipments made up this metric. And then from here, maybe I want to drill in even further and take a look at this particular shipment. Well, that's really all I wanted to show you today um, with the ShipGear solution. I hope you enjoyed. And if you're ready to make your shipping more efficient, feel free to contact us at 800-462-4016 or check out the resource below. Thanks. <laughs>